We're not starting with Trudeau, but we're starting with someone that's going to make you equally angry. But before we even get going, look at the reporter behind him. Very eager to ask him a question. Let's listen to liar, liar, Marco Mendicino. How is it how is it credible is that it? how is it credible that all of the most senior staff who are paid for by taxpayers and government and PCO and the Prime Minister's office and your office knew, but somehow you and the Prime Minister were only told after the fact? How is that in any way credible to the average person who goes to their job and does their job every day? Okay. Okay, stop. First of all, stop. Let's all I don't want to get into the analysis before I context. Uh, Paul Bernardo, serial killer, uh, I mean, Satan incarnate, uh, who's been in a maximum security prison. Was, it's supposed to be for the rest of his life, but I, I think maybe he's like up for parole in 25 years or something. Paul Bernardo, probably one of the sickest uh, humans to come out of Canada. I see there's a bunch of jokes there, but I'll leave that one alone. Uh, was apparently transferred from a maximum security prison to a, in Ontario to a medium security prison in Quebec. And apparently after it sparked a buttload of backlash, Marco Mendicino, who's the Minister of Justice, or I forget what it is, I'll get the exact title. Apparently he didn't know. So this reporter, after a bit of a kerfuffle, asked him a very clear question. It was a little long, but her question was, how is it plausible that you didn't know and you expect the average Canadian to believe that? And look at this smug liar's face. I'm trying not to swear. I'm a little cranky today. I'm trying not to swear. Look at this smug face. And she asked him a question and watch how he does everything he can to not answer the question. The average person who goes to their job and does their job every day. Okay, first of all, uh, let's yeah. all take a breath. <laughs> let's not take a breath. You you hysterical woman, stop, calm down. Just calm down. I'm going to get to your question in a second. Once you calm down, woman, let's take a breath. Why don't you just call her hysterical, Marco Mendicino? I want to be responsive to your questions. How about instead of saying that, just answer the question? That I would be coming down to take more questions uh, in this afternoon. But you said what I would say, and you didn't cut your off we waited I, for five yeah. hours for you. Yes, right five now. hours. Well, I'm here right now. And I oh, be... I'm so, I want to be responsive. So I'm going to tell you how I want to be responsive. Uh, but you could have asked questions later. We waited for five hours. Well, I'm here now, not answering your question. Calm down. Here so, again. Absolutely not. That's tough, eh? Uh, but so I agree with you that there uh, is a challenge there, which is why we have taken steps to address that through. I uh, agree with you that there is a challenge there. The question was, how do you expect people to believe your stupid, bold-faced lie that you did not know that Paul Bernardo was being transferred from a maximum security prison in Ontario to a minimum, or uh, moderate, or whatever they call it, mid-range? How did you not know that? Do you expect us to believe that? I agree, there's challenges there. Actions internally, as well as uh, by uh, making sure that the CSE works very closely with victims' families going forward. Why didn't your staff tell you? Why didn't your staff tell you? Why didn't your staff tell you? What's the explanation? We faut montrer un peu de respect. Oui. Oh, you have to show some respect. Comme j'avais mentionné. Like I said. J'avais prendre action concrète. I'm going to take concrete action. Les questions de mon équipe. I'm going to talk to my team. Tout le monde que oui, c'est absolument nécessaire. It's necessary. That he needs to receive the briefings. In real time. This guy is a pathological liar. This is the same Marco Mendicino who lied about truckers threatening women in Ottawa with rape. This is the same Marco Mendicino. Now, when asked quite clearly, do you expect us to believe that you were not briefed that Paul Bernardo was going to be transferred from a maximum security to a mid-range security prison? Do you expect us to believe that you weren't briefed on it? And if you weren't briefed, how does that happen? Are you not in charge? And it goes on. Let's just do a few more seconds while everyone trickles in. Uh, pour uh, pour assurer que les CC vont travailler ensemble avec les, les familles des victimes. Why didn't your staff tell you? Why didn't? Is it standard operating procedure at your office that you are kept in the dark? And will you let anyone go in response to something like this? Of course not. And you know, of course not. What? Not going to let? It's not normal. To make sure that we are identifying issues where there uh, are challenges on information flow. Challenges on information flow. But by the way, I'm calling it now. This is my prediction. Because I know that Marco Mendicino is a liar because he's a proven liar. He knew. That's my, that's my assessment. They knew that Bernardo was getting transferred from a maximum security to a mid-range security prison. And they didn't tell anybody because they wanted to avoid the public backlash. And once the public discovered this obscene piece of information, what does Marco Mendicino do? I didn't know. I mean, I'm, the, I'm, in, I'm in charge. My staffers did not tell me that they were transferring a convicted serial killer and worse. I don't know how you can get worse than that. He knew. And like all liars, when they get caught, 
having screwed up, they lie. Ah, it's just not acceptable that I wasn't told what was going on. And how could they do this to me? I would never. Oh, no, no. This is the state of Canada. It's, it's not even the, the, the bottom of the barrel of the lamentable state of Canada. We're going to get into it. But that's Marco Mendicino, people. Mm -hmm.